What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm here in Utah for a very, very special reason. It is the official national Nissan media event for the truck that I'm standing next to. This is it. This is the totally redesigned 2022 Nissan Frontier. Our particular one is the Pro 4X trim. But before we dive into this off-road capable mid-sized truck from Nissan, let's talk about what's going on here. Nissan goes all the way back to 1959 when they came out with the world's first compact truck. Now the smaller truck class for decades was always known as the compact truck. Then there was a change up. The truck landscape and industry within the auto segment has really kind of changed over the years to grow in size, to grow in what people want and need out of a truck, to where these trucks are now mid-sized trucks. Now, the crazy thing is we're six generations into the frontier and it's been since 2005, since there's been a major redesign. That was the introduction of generation five. So what I wanna find out with this review is, has Nissan done enough here to go up against probably the class leader that everybody puts at the top of their heap when it comes to looking for that off-road midsize truck, the mighty Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro? Have they done enough to topple the Tacoma? And have they done enough to make it worth the price instead of going to that other iconic Japanese brand. Let's dive in to our Baja Storm Frontier Pro 4X and find out. Right off the bat, the color. They've taken the color from the bigger brother, the Titan, and they brought it to the Frontier and it really fits it perfectly. Now, we've already brought to you a walk around of that bolder gray Frontier at the Nissan headquarters, but we're gonna show all the bits now that we're out in the open and not in their underground studio. So up front, you're gonna get all new headlight design, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps. Love the way they did the style, not only to the outside, but also to the interior portion. Now, you do get this nice extra fender flare because this is the Pro 4X. That's gonna be that top trim. The one thing I am gonna have to zonk is this major fake vent over here. They could have made this a nice side air curtain, but with it being a fake vent, we're gonna have to zonk it, but you do get LED fog lamps down below. And then as we come across that Warrior Inspire grill from the Titan, they brought it to the Frontier. You're gonna have that nice flat black, the updated, upgraded Nissan badge, forward facing camera, Please excuse some of the dirt. We've been doing a little bit of off-road driving on this media event, and I don't have all my cleaning supplies to get her perfect for you, but we will be doing more of these reviews with the Frontier. So if you wanna see it sparkling like a diamond, stay tuned, there'll be more of that, especially with the other trims. Now, I do like the way on the top portion here, they stamped the Frontier name right into that upper portion, just like the Titan. And as we drop down, they did a great job making it rugged without making it too blingy. So this flat black, I think is really gonna age super well. You're gonna have full functionality in the lower grill and the upper grill. Of course, that forward facing camera is such a necessity when you're going off-roading. And because we have the Pro 4X, which is that top off-road trim, you're gonna get more ground clearance and you're gonna get full metal protection. Now, believe it or not, you're gonna get not only steel, but then also the steel is covered by aluminum skid plates. So you have your steel skid plates, that's gonna uh, cover your two-speed transfer case, your fuel tank, and then of course you're gonna get the aluminum that actually goes over that to protect everything. That really shows that tried and true to the off-roading uh, community. We got the Bilstein dampers, all four corners, that's gonna give you that great compression and rebound damping for if you're driving on the road every day or when you're ready to take it off-road like we are here at Utah. But I love the amount of ground clearance. You have these bright orange tow hooks to pull those lesser trucks out of the mud, out of the sand, out of the snow. Really gives that nice little added feature there. And then when we get up on top of the hood, I really like the bold body lines. Very muscular, so you have almost looks like a raised area in the center, the way that they did these canyons on both sides. I think you'd agree Baja Storm, one of the coolest colors, definitely for an off-road ready truck. Look at the way they take the body line from the grill and bring it right towards the windshield. And then as we come around the bend, we got some new wheels and tires to talk about. 
loving these simulated beadlock style wheels, that gunmetal flat gray color with the Nissan badge, bright orange pops nicely. This is a 17 inch wheel, base wheel is gonna be 16 inch. So 17 inch wheel, tire 265 on the, mid, on the width, 70 series, meaty sidewall, and of course these are those all terrain tires from Hankook. Now, suspension wise, you can see the upper control arm, all the work that they've done to really fine tune. And that's the thing is, is that they have fine tuned the chassis from the previous generation. They added some to it, but they decided to take it up another notch and they did that all four corners. I love the flat black fender flare. Like I said, that's gonna take a better beating and really, really nice body lines coming off the front headlight, especially the way the headlight kind of spills up on into the fender. Love that style. Now, as we come down the side, you are gonna get 360 degree cameras on our particular trim. We got the premium package, we have the tech package, we have all the goodies. Color match on the mirror caps. You are gonna have a nice raised section in that wheelbase area so that you could go over just about anything. New for 2022, they went from 50 official factory accessories up to 80 factory accessories, including you could get those rock sliders. You could even get rock sliders that have nice running board areas that could easily be disconnected within minutes so that you don't drag those running board steps on anything as you're going off-road. So I like the way they have that versatility. We do have a sunroof. You'll be able to see more of that when we get to the interior. Flat black on the shark fin antenna. But of course, we got that crew cab. You can also get king cab five foot box, or you could go up to a six foot box as optional. Really, really like the way they did the Pro 4X badging. I wish though they would have taken a page from the new 2022 Tacoma TRD Pro and actually stamped it into the bed instead of having the decal. But wonderful fender flare action. You do have a single exhaust outlet on one side. That would have been another nice touch just to put maybe a Nismo style performance exhaust just to give you a little bit extra growl out of that V6. Coming around the bend, if you're comparing this to a Tacoma, this has rear disc brakes. Tacoma is still using drum brakes. Crazy in the 21st century how they still have that older technology when it comes to braking. Now coming around the back, you are gonna get just like up front, LED brake lights. I like the way they did the style clean. Pro 4X badging, nice gunmetal gray. They did stamp that Frontier name into the back, looks clean. And of course, you're gonna get the updated, upgraded Nissan badge. The orange just makes it pop. Really think that was a smart move to go that color. And if you notice, they actually do that V-shape on the back handle, just like they do that Warrior V-shape grill at the front. And then I'm gonna show you when we open this up what you're gonna see in the bed. But let's go ahead and drop it down and take a look at what we got here. Plenty of ground clearance. You do have a rear locker on this Pro 4X. They upgraded the sway bars, all the suspension bits, and of course, like I said, those Bilstein shock absorbers, all four corners. Let's go ahead and drop it. Look at this. Standard, you're gonna have that damping rear tailgate area, and then I wanna show you on the driver's side, excuse me, on the passenger side, you are gonna have your home power source, perfect for camping, tailgating, whatever you're doing. Believe it or not, Nissan was one of the first, well, actually the first to have a spray-in factory bed liner and they had that Utilitrack system. So those are those wonderful brackets that you could actually loosen up and then what you're gonna do is you're able to slide them back and forth as you go through your different tie-down settings. So depending on what you have in here, bicycle, dirt bike, whatever you got, you could use this system very, very effectively and it locks down nicely. They upgraded the LED bed lighting, so they added more LED bed lighting and upgraded the lighting at the back of the cab to illuminate the bed as well. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our new Frontier. All right guys, we got the hood popped. Now when you're comparing it to the Tacoma and a lot of the other mid-sized trucks, they have prop rods. Guess what, on the Nissan Frontier, you are gonna get hood struts to hold up the hood. Underneath that hood, what's nice is they kinda just made it super simple. One engine, one transmission choice. So what are we looking at when we're looking at underneath the hood? So you're looking at a V6, 
And that V6 is a 3.8 liter V6, 310 horsepower. If you're wondering, well, Joe, when it comes to the horsepower, how much torque does it have? 281 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to that nine-speed automatic transmission. When we look at payload, payload capacity is 1,610 pounds. Towing capacity is 6,720 pounds. And then MPGs are gonna be the same as last year. If you're going two-wheel drive, you're looking at 18 in the city, 24 in the highway, and our four-wheel drive Pro 4X is gonna be 17 in the city, 22 on the highway. Now, the other great news is at the front end of the business, you're gonna get the best approach angle in the class. So as you are going off-roading, you'll be able to clear just about anything. They added an electronic transfer case to the Pro, Pro 4X, uh, trim. Of course, you have that shift on the fly, four-wheel drive. They were the first to really bring that technology. And then when it comes to what changes, believe it or not, they actually changed up the hydraulic steering rack, gave it a quicker steering ratio. That's going to allow you to have a more confident feel, whether you're on pavement or whether you're going off-road. Also, they retuned the transmission. So don't think that they just took the engine and the transmission from the last gen and just threw it in here. They actually retuned everything. And then on top of that, when you look at the frame, they actually added lots of damping at the cab to really isolate and give you a nice, serene driving experience, even though this is an off-road truck. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this V6 and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this Baja Storm 2022 Frontier Pro 4X. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking for a midsize truck. I've seen all your Tacoma reviews. I've been thinking about a TRD Pro, but I'm liking so far what Nissan has done with the new Frontier. How much is it? Well, remember, there's different trims. S, SV, there's a new Pro X, which is just two-wheel drive with some of the goodies from the Pro 4X. And then at the top, of course, you have the Pro 4X. Starting price for the S is right around an MSRP of $29,000. Pro 4X starting price is around $37,000. This particular one that has the convenience package, the tech package, and the premium package, lots of packages, this one has an MSRP of $44,000. But let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, what I don't like is at the tippy tippy top, it's hard black plastic. But the great news is, as you drop down, you're gonna get this soft neoprene, almost like a wetsuit material, which is gonna be very, very easy to clean. No gloss black around the switch gear. You have a nice armrest pad there that has some cush to it. Plus, you got some stitching. There's a tad of gloss black in the center portion, but nothing too major. Door pocket is a little bit on the tight side. So if you're looking at that door pocket, maybe just a couple hot dogs from 7-Eleven and a bottle of Surge, but because we have the tech package and the premium package, you're gonna get a 10 speaker Fender premium sound system in this Frontier. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same story. That soft neoprene material, easy to clean. You got a nice oh crap handle for your passenger there. And then coming to the center area, we have a, a Twinkie tray up top. You can easily put six Twinkies across, let them get nice and warm, gold delicious brown in the sun. And then you have a new nine inch infotainment system. Now there is just a tad of gloss black and they didn't take up the whole size. Like this could have been a 10 inch maybe even a little bit larger. So I am gonna zonk that, but it is nine inch, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You got your forward facing camera with trajectory. And we have, of course, that 
bird's eye view 360 camera technology. It's a little bit on the lower resolution side, but it's nice to have the 360 cam. There's your backup camera with your trajectory as well. Put it back in the park, hit your menu, and there you go. You're right back to where you started and you can bring up your navigation easy peasy. Working your way down, you do have your dual climate control, which is great. And then you got that switch on the fly system to go from two wheel drive to four high to four low very, very easily. We got heated seats and we got a heated steering wheel. You're not getting that on your Tacoma TRD Pro, USB-C and a USB. Plus, there's a 12 volt over on the side there. So they got you covered. There's these little tiny, oh crap handles, one for your passenger, one for you. If you're the driver and you're holding on to this, you got problems. I don't recommend doing that unless uh, you have some kind of crazy emergency. But we have a large cubby here that you could easily put a five pound bag of peanut M&Ms. And then you have your good old fashioned Nissan key fob. Now, some people might say, hey, that's really dated. But the thing I like about it is that it's really small and light. And you could put this in your jean pocket and it's not gonna poke you in the family jewels, which is great. You got your new Nissan badge up top, remote start. And I like the silver on the buttons, which is great. This is gonna control that nine speed automatic. It's a little awkward how high the shift lever is. I wish they would have just lowered it just a tad, but at least it's not a rotary dial or a push button transmission. You do have your two cup holders, a little bit of this metallic gloss black, nothing too crazy. We got wireless charging, and then you are gonna get more of that neoprene material, easy to clean, and it's soft. Open it up, you have the largest center console storage in all of the midsize truck category, and a 12 volt. You could easily put two boxes of Twinkies in here without getting any cream all over the interior. And then the seats. Premium is gonna get you premium. Nice leather material. I like the stitch work with the embroidery. Stitching going all the way down, looking clean. Now it is manual adjustment for the passenger, but I have electric assist for the driver. And we do have the sunroof, which is nice to see. But why don't we go ahead, come over to the business end. I wanna show you behind the wheel of the new frontier. Right, this is time behind the wheel. Now, one thing to be aware of, Nissan made 42 changes to the interior because one thing they wanted to do is actually increase the quietness inside the cabin. And the reason why they wanted to do that is because of all the previous owners and current owners of Frontiers. That was something that they really, really wanted to have done. So you have things like acoustic glass, you have thicker side glass, you have better sound deadening, and obviously the way that they've been able to isolate the cab and all those vibrations really plays out when you get on the road. But speaking of the seat, you do have your multi-position electric assist for the bottom and the back. I wish I had lower lumbar. That would have been a nice extra touch. I'm six feet tall, plenty of room in here, even with the sunroof, steering wheel. It is leather wrapped, nice soft. I do like the horn button, the way they shape it, just like the grill. You do have the new Nissan badge looking sharp. The only zonk is, is that it's the older style wheel. Now the good news is the switch gear is easy to figure out. It's just, I would have liked a little bit more modern looking steering wheel. Down on the side here, you have the ability to electronically lock that rear diff out back. Remember, we got the two-speed transfer case up front. You got your hill descent control, the 360 shield protection with emergency braking, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring. Steering wheel though, big bummer. It's just tilting. It's not telescoping. So that to me is a zonk. But the dash, I like the changes that they made. They brought a little bit of analog and a little bit of tech. So you have a digital seven inch display in the center, analog tech, analog speedometer, coolant gauge and fuel gauge. And then to scroll through that seven inch display, very easy, lots of information. That's what I really like to see instead of a full digital display. I think that this is the better way to go. Definitely more technology on the interior of this Frontier compared to the Tacoma TRD Pro. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna like this midsize truck. All right guys, back seat time in the Frontier. Now one thing that they did, I'm holding up the rear seat to showcase the room that's underneath. Lots of storage capacity for all those things, whether you need it for an emergency or those planned trips. Lower the seat down and then let's check out the door panel. You do get large enough cup holders. And speaking of cup holders, there's eight cup holders in this Frontier and they hold those larger 
Yeti 32 ounce canisters. So get your big Yetis, get your Bigfoots, Sasquatches, and everything else that you like to drink out of. Those drinking vessels, you could fit it in this Frontier. Backs of the seats, leather all the way around. Nice, super-sized pockets. So if you're going to do a Lewis and Clark expedition and you need to put those maps back there as you go on your Frontier, with your Frontier, you have that space back here. Look at this. We got home power source, USB-C, and USB. I'm sure Lewis and Clark wish they had that kind of technology when they were on their expedition. I have my own pocket over here. You know what I'm going to put, right? A good old Italian calzone. When I'm out in Utah, you can't find a calzone around here. So I'm going to have one flown in from Brooklyn. Drop it right in. Nice pepperoni. The mozzarella. The whole nine yards. Mm, I'm getting hungry right about now. Seating position. It's a, little, it's a little cramped. Now, when you're looking at the mid-sized trucks, though, the Tacoma's cramped, too. So it's kind of like even Stevens. No cuts, no butts, no coconuts type of thing. But I do got plenty of headroom. I'm six feet tall. Just my knees are a little high. And I don't remember. I got to get in a Tacoma to remember how high my knees are. But the great news is you do have a cup holder large enough for those Sasquatch bottles and just enough real estate for your arm to legally in all 50 states, including Hawaii, legally call this an armrest. There's just enough real estate. But what I do like, of course, you're going to get that manual sliding rear, gl rear glass window. Have some friends back there. You can throw some calzones at them, maybe some hot tomato sauce on them while they're sitting back there sleeping. But while we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. I'm going to finish eating my calzone. We're going to take this for a little off-road adventure here in Utah. All right, guys, we're inside the 2022 Nissan Frontier. We got some radio communication from home base, and we are off-roading in this Pro 4X we have it in four low, diffs locked and everything. All right, guys, here we are going up this hill. It's been raining, it's a little muddy, but we're doing it in the Pro 4X. On throttle, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable, all of the technology and the work that's going on into making this happen. We got the diff locked, we got it in four low, and we are going over these rocks. Remember we got the skid plates? That's gonna help protect the inner bits underneath this thing, and here we are going up this rock hill. Wow. All right, guys, we got through the worst of it. We're now heading down the mountain, and we are gonna be hitting the asphalt ribbon of highway because I wanna see how this Frontier drives on those daily commutes, on all those A to B journeys you need to do. So hold on one second. We get down the mountain and I'll see you on the roads. All right, guys, we are now doing the on-road portion of this review. We're in this Pro 4X. I wanna do a little quick on throttle since nobody is behind us. Just have it in automatic drive. We got nine speed automatic with the V6. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Nice, smooth, torque delivery from that naturally aspirated v6 and the nine speed shifts very 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 well going down the road you have great visibility out over the hood and i'm telling you the work that they've done to the suspension to the chassis you're really going to feel that all the way through to these zero gravity seats that's going to allow you to be comfortable and also feel good as you're going along your journey through the frontier, in your frontier, with a frontier. But I'm telling you right away, the work that they did to the rack and pinion, you really could feel it with the quicker steering ratio. Getting to that nine inch infotainment system is easy peasy lemon squeezy. I wish it had wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That would have been a nice little extra touch, but we got the navigation going. I, the information in that seven inch digital display is very easy to read. I like the way it really allows you to have those settings perfect for whether you're on road or off road. And then you got lots of storage, which is gonna make life easy for you with all the things that we have to carry around on our day-to-day -day basis, and of course, the Twinkies. 
you gotta have the Twinkies and we got plenty of room in the Twinkie department area for storage. But going down this nice twisty road, I don't know if you can tell, I'm gonna shut up for a second. Very quiet. We got those off-road tires. We just got done off-roading. Very quiet, nice way that they kind of seal off the cabin. You're still gonna get the, the sounds that you want. It's just not a bunch of extra road noise and wind noise that you don't want. Thickness on the steering wheel is great. The action of those Bilstein dampers all four corners is so well put together. That's really where it adds up to that big picture. You got the connectivity. USB-C, USB, wireless charging, brakes feel good. I think another thing I like about it is that there's no modes. Kind of just takes the guessing game out. You know, you, you fire it up and you drive and then you decide whether you want four high, four low, two low. You got all the different um, settings with this particular Frontier, especially the Pro for extra. Another nice thing is that they did not make this front tier any larger, really. Seems like vehicles are getting larger and larger and larger, even for their own class. So it's really easy to drive down the road. And I think that's what makes a mid-sized truck such a go-to because of the ease of driving, parking it. You could pull it in your garage and close it up and have it all packed up to go for your next adventure out the door. You have all of that with a mid-sized truck and definitely you're not gonna miss the fifth generation. I know a lot of people had a sweet spot for that vehicle, but I'm telling you the changes that they made, it's like they kept the good personality, but they brought that newer feel technology and then the interior uh, seats and everything else. Is it perfect? Of course not, but there's definitely a huge improvement and when you're comparing it to the Tacoma TRD Pro, I think it actually drives smoother on the road, to be honest with you. Not so bouncy. I like the layout of the cabin a little bit more than on the Tacoma TRD Pro. And then you're getting a larger nine inch screen and nobody can argue with size. Larger is better. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what this new 2022 Frontier Pro 4X is all about. We're gonna get back to where it all started here in utah and wrap this one up so i'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been a great time here in utah i definitely want to thank everyone on the nissan media team especially dan kevin allison steve really really accommodating to let radies rides have access to this media event vehicle the new frontier let's talk about it lots of changes especially since 2005 have they done enough have they done enough to topple the Tacoma TRD Pro, especially since we have the Pro 4X trim. I think for the price, they're being really aggressive. And you, as the consumer, have a tough choice on your hands. Let me know what you would go with. Tacoma TRD Pro, Nissan Frontier, Pro 4X. Which would you buy and is it worth the price? Is this worth the price for what they're asking? But if you wanna keep seeing new trucks, off-road trucks, and everything in between in the truck world here on Radies Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, two ways to do it. Click that first link, become a Radies Rides Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. She travels from one coast to the other here in the United States to get the action on film for you. Thank you, Lori, for being the muscle behind the camera and doing all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.